MSI releases GT72S G Toby, spelled with two eyes, G Sync laptop with eye tracking technology. Um, announced a long time ago at Computex. Sebastian has the write up on this at PC Per. Uh, not only includes NVIDIA G Sync, but eye tracking technology that promises a more immersive gameplay experience. MSI is calling it the world's most advanced gaming laptop. Um, the idea is that you'll be able to switch targets in a game, select objects on the floor, basically activate or interact with the game by simply focusing or looking away at the screen. Available now, going to be bundled with Tom Clancy's The Division and, quote, currently supports a variety of gaming titles, including Assassin's Creed Syndicate, Assassin's Creed Rogue, Arma 3, Elite Dangerous, and more. Um, you got to play around with it at CES. Did you feel that the eye tracking system uh, was an advantage in gameplay? I mean, this is a twenty six hundred dollar laptop. It's a nice laptop. Yeah. I mean, it's it's badass. One terabyte. Well, actually, SSD. It's it's got. It's funny. It's two drive. It's two fifty six gigabyte SSD uh, and a one terabyte HDD. A Blu ray burner. Killer networking. 32 gigs of memory, a GTX 980M, a Core i7-6820HK, a 17-inch 1080p screen, and that Toby eye tracking. Toby eye tracking works. I've got a chance to play with it. I've never really played with it in a real game, not a demo game. Right. Um, so, I mean, I, I spent maybe 15 minutes with it at uh, right. CES this year, um, and it worked way better than I expected it to. Um, so the demo they had running there was on Assassin's Creed Syndicate, uh, right. and, and the gameplay loop was, hey, you know, it, there's a there's a significant portion of the game where you have uh, uh, like a um, tether that you can throw across from one building to the other uh, and, you know, go across, traverse across the gap that way. Uh, normally when you're aiming that, that uh, that grappling hook, if you will, across it. You have to move your thumbstick around and kind of. It's a third-person game, so wherever the guy kind of looks, you know, you can kind of figure out what attachment point at the other building it would, it would have. With the eye tracking implementation, I, it actually uses your eyes to select the location. You hit the button on the controller or your keyboard or whatever to actually fire it, and it worked very well. It worked very quickly. Uh, there was not a perceivable lag behind uh -huh. it, um, and. It was it was it was pretty cool. Now I didn't play enough of it to know like is this a big advantage for gameplay or is this kind of like a little tricky thing uh, that they that they were able to use as a demo. The other thing that they did in this game um, was I think it'll show up here in this video in just a second is that they basically used your eye location to do high dynamic range. So if you if you see the screen, it's changing brightness. That's not like a camera problem. That's not the game screwing up. It's basically tracking my eyes. So if I look at the bright spot on the right-hand side of the screen, it will come into the correct dynamic range and the dark area hmm. would kind of fade out. If I'm looking at the dark spots, you know, the dark area where the, the roof is, um, it will come into and it kind of blows out the area on the outside. And it's a, and it was very fast. It responded very quickly. Like I said, it wasn't laggy. It wasn't, um, it didn't seem like it was going to slow me down. Um, mm -hmm. You could see this being used for uh, games that have depth of field, right? Like depth of field right. in games has always been a kind of a dumb thing in my opinion because... They basically use depth of field to try to get you to look at the thing they want you to look at as opposed to responding to what you're actually looking at. With this technology, they could do that, right? They could they could right. put whatever you're not looking at out of focus more if they wanted to do that for some, you know, whatever gameplay reason they wanted to do. Um, so I thought it worked really well. Um, this, I mean, the, the price of the MSI laptop is high for sure, but keep in mind that it is a high end gaming laptop hardware regardless. And they're just kind of adding this feature in. So I don't really know what the, um, the, uh, the markup is for this particular, for the Toby eye tracking stuff integrated to it. Um, but there's obviously some, it's probably hundred bucks or 200 bucks or something like that. Uh, the Toby eye tracking stuff, they actually, they actually sell a camera for it that you can put on your monitor or on your PC at home, right? So if you want to have the eye tracking capability, but you don't, you know, this is one laptop that has it, obviously they need a bigger audience than that. Um, so there's like a, essentially like a webcam type thing that has IR um, uh, cameras and then IR lights that, you know, they're shining into your eyes uh, and then they're reading the reflections back essentially is how the technology works. Um, and then if you read in that post, there are other games that are, that have support for it. Uh, Assassin's Creed Syndicate, Assassin's Creed Rogue, Arma 3, Elite Dangerous, and the new Tom Clancy's The Division, which I think is coming out this month or, or March, um, will all have support for Toby eye tracking tech in there. And I think this 
think this game might ship with the division. I think it includes a copy of the division um, as well. But uh, I, so I, I'm I've asked for one of these to to review. I want to try out uh, like the idea of Elite Dangerous with eye tracking technology sounds really 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 cool, right? Like kind of a arcade sim. Or not arcade sim, but like a flight sim, space sim game with eye tracking tech. Sounds like it has a lot of potential to be useful and fun. Uh, so I, I, I definitely want to try that out. I don't, I don't, I, I don't know what the long term, the like the tail of this tech is, mm -hmm. um, with with VR and AR kind of getting all the attention right now. Uh, but right. I, I, I have a feeling it's, it's going to be more interesting than people kind of expected. It, it's pretty easy to be the to. to write this off as just a, oh yeah, another gimmick. Um, but if they do it well and they integrate it with games that use it right, it could be pretty interesting.